Hi folks, Matt Nose M1A here again. Put together a uh, aluminium cylinder within a cylinder. And I've got this lead here coming in from the negative pole of a uh, 36 volt battery touching the inner inner side of the um, aluminium cylinder via the the, via the insulation, and then on this outer uh, aluminium cylinder, I've got the uh, magnet wire coming from the uh, transmitter system to the uh, via the insulation connecting the outer outer layer of the aluminium cylinder. Okay, so you can see here uh, nothing measuring on the voltmeter. Okay. What I have noticed is that when I first turn it on, there's a massive spark coming from in there, so I don't know what's going on. And uh, we get some action happening on the voltmeter. And interestingly enough, this light here comes on, which is not really connected to anything except for um, what's well, touching the cement floor. So I think we're getting closer to what Tesla was really doing. So anyway, let's turn it on, and we'll try and capture this huge spark that happens in the... Uh, when it first comes on, so let's see if we can. It seems to come on and then disappears. I don't know what's going on there. Let's see if we can get it. Whoa, look at that! Cool. <laughs> it's nuts! All right, so we got. Um, we get we got some action happening on the. Uh, voltmeter. <laughs> now let me turn the lights off. Okay, so this light here is coming, it's the only one that's coming on and that has a wire leading to the, well, it's not connected to anything, it's just a wire resting on the cement floor. So i starting to think that's getting real close to what Tesla was working on. Interesting that huge spark that came uh, <laughs> from the cylinder. This is crazy stuff. <laughs>